Behold the pale horse, and the person that sat upon him was Sidney Powell. Whoa! Welcome, everybody. Kevin Jackson here. Watched the presser of the president's legal team talking about he ain't ever given up. Never, never, never give up. Sounds like Churchill, doesn't it? Democrat, you picked the wrong dude. What do I tell you? I've been saying it on my radio show. I've been saying it on other media outlets. You picked the wrong dude. But there were some things that came out in this press conference that were really interesting. So the one attorney, I don't know her name. She's a lead attorney, it appears, or the, the younger one. She was anti-Trump in 2016. A lot of things are being made about this. Kevin, she was anti-Trump. How could Trump put her on her team? How many of you were anti-Trump? Let me tell you how many people were anti-Trump. The 10 plus million new voters, because 10 million more people voted for Trump in 2020 than in 2016. And that's for starters. That's not including the 2.7 million votes that they believe were tossed for Trump. That's not including all of the votes that were changed from Trump to Biden. 10 plus million people, probably closer to 15, voted for Trump. So there were a lot of people who weren't for Trump in 2016. So I don't hold it against her. But what she said was this. She says, we're not here to prosecute a case. We're giving you our opening statement. Now, there's a saying in the law, and I slept at a Holiday Inn. I'm not a legal person, but I did do that. And it is, you need to know the answer to the questions. Or when you're giving your you know, preamble to the trial, hey, jury, here's what we're going to be proving to you. It's really good if you're able to prove it. And in a case like this where things are, you know, the, the republic hangs in the balance, as people like to say, doesn't it? Yes, it does. He just said it. So the republic hangs in the balance. You want somebody that's going to come out there and have credibility across the board. I'm going to tell you something. I'm saying this to Democrats. I'm saying this to anybody who wants to cheat in elections going forward. You've been got. Now, the cute little attorney, the younger one, she made the comment, we're just giving you the opening arguments to our case. And then steps up the woman who was on the pale horse. You know, that's the one that death was on. And I'm telling you, Democrats, you better know that pale horse is for you. So Sidney Powell steps up and she says, there's all kinds of voter irregularities here. And by the way, you don't need to be a rocket scientist. You don't need to be a mathematician. All you need is two brain cells to rub together to know that this election was the most crooked on the planet. Donald Trump won the black vote, the Latino vote, and that's enough. I don't even have to go any further. In fact, I could have stopped at the black vote. He won over 20% of the black vote. That's Armageddon for the Democrats, unless you cheat unless you overcheat. And that's what the Democrats did. So Trump won 10 million people that we can put our fingers on in, in getting, in, in terms of more votes from 2016 to 2020. Now, I've already argued this point. It's never gonna be debated because it's not up for debate. It is a fact. Joe Biden is now more popular than 2008 Barack Obama who got 69 million plus votes. To believe that, you have to just be a clown. Uh -huh. You're a clown and you need to be, that's right, skank slapped. So you know that. Now we're still piddling with, well, there's in this county in Georgia, there's 178 votes. And in this county in Georgia, Trump added another this many votes. And in the biggest coup yet, uh, uh, Joe Biden lost 9,626 votes on a pencil whip error because they gave him 10,000 votes when he only had a thousand, less than a thousand or something like that. So he lost 9,600 votes and change on that. But see, that's the game. The game is they wanna let Trump get close enough to act like the count was legit. And then they took it away from him. Well, Trump's not stupid. And, and I said in a previous video, Trump and his team understand that the bigger thing is the millions of votes that were fraudulently added. Now, what did, 
What did Sidney Powell say? Let's go back to Sidney. She's on the white horse. Behold the pale horse. And the name that sat upon him was Sidney Powell, AKA death for the Democrats. So Sidney goes back and she says, the one of the top management team people for Dominion voting systems flew to Detroit, Michigan in order to orchestrate everything that happened in that state. Now, Michigan's got, Michigan's got its own set of problems. They got a crazy woman running their state as governor. Whitmer, and they're doing a recall election on her. And I hope they, they she needs to be run out on a rail. But she's in charge of this. Pennsylvania's governor's in charge of that. The crooked Republican governor's in charge of the Georgia vote. And I'm telling you, these Sidney Powell made, made a lot of things in what she said. Sidney Powell said, there are politicians who signed on to Dominion, paid them so that they could win. I'm just telling you something. Attorneys don't say stuff like that unless they can point fingers. And as you consider these other elections that have been called, what do you think is going to happen when they start pointing fingers and saying, this person cheated, that person cheated, and we have the data, we have the evidence. Now we get to where Sidney Powell really made, in my opinion, the most powerful part of the entire thing is when she said this, we have Dominion people who've told us what's happened. Not whistleblowers, people who want to do the right thing. Citizens who said, we're not going to let this election get stolen like this. We're not going to be a part of it. And then she said this. She said, if you're a Dominion employee and you want to turn over evidence, you should do it. Because it's being investigated. The people around you, you don't know who. Is it you? I don't know. Where, where, who could it be? But whoever it is, they might be telling on you. You better let us know what's going on. Now, here's what I can tell you. You tell a lie, you might be able to keep it from some people. You bring in a friend. Hey, man, you know, anybody ask, I was with you from 10 p.m. to 4 in the morning. Okay. <laughs> All right. But now you brought somebody else in and that person might get around the person you don't want to know that you weren't with him from 10, 8, 10 p.m. to 4 a.m. And he might let it slip. Yeah, you know, the other night with me and old girl, we were watching the movie. We fell asleep by midnight. And, and that other significant person may go, I thought you were with my man. You get what I'm saying? As you expand your sphere of lying uh, people to support it, you also exponentially, well, at some geometrically at first, but exponentially, eventually, you expose, you, you essentially have that big of a chance of exposing the lie. And that's what the Democrats did. When the night of the election, they had to let too many other people in on it, too many operatives. People were going, why is he getting deployed to Detroit? Why is he going to Nevada? Why is he going to Pennsylvania? Why is everybody going to a battleground state? Because <laughs> the Democrats panicked. So it, it expanded. And now they don't know who's telling or who's not. Maybe Sidney Powell has nobody from Dominion. I don't think that's the case. But what it's going to do it's going to get the ones that are at Dominion to say, you know, I do know something. And to quote Janet Napolitano, if you see something, say something. So they're going to start dropping dime. So they start dropping dime on this guy. Hey, look, I ain't trying to say what happened, but here's what I saw and blah, blah, blah. So she put out a warning. She says, this is essentially your time to fess up because you might be getting a knock at your door and it'll be the FBI. And it won't be Christopher Ray's FBI. There's gonna be somebody from that FBI that believes in this administration. So that's where we are. What's gonna happen? 
people are going to start telling. Now, I said this, and certainly on my radio show, I said it. I may have even said it on one of the Kev talks. Donald Trump would be smart to say to the entirety of the nation, we have lots of data. We have lots of proof. If you want to be exonerated right now, if you want my pardon, when this is all said and done, I would suggest you tell, tell us now. Because we know who you are. And we know what you did. So if you'll come forward now and say what it is, we'll give you some level of protection. But if you don't, you're going to club fed and you're going to stay there for the rest of your life or at least a long enough time to where you will never do this again. See, this is our opportunity, America, to clean this stuff up. I don't know how you feel, but I'm giddy. Or as, as uh, Al Sharpton said, I'm jitty. <laughs> I'm jitty. I got a tingle going up my leg because as I said to you guys about election night, Donald Trump would win and he would win definitively. And that is exactly what happened. And what it caused is the Democrats to lose their dang minds. They went do 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 cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. And suddenly they start they, they, I don't want to say they acted out of character because they didn't. They went into DEFCON 1 mode, dropping nukes all over the place, thinking that, you know, they nuked everybody in the, in the building and found out there's a lot of nuke, nuke resort, re, retarding cockroaches <laughs> that are ready to go to battle. Not that I'm calling those cockroaches. So the point is, they overreacted. And now, behold the pale horse. <laughs> And the name that sat upon him was Sidney Powell. And as the Bible says in Revelation, the name that sat upon him was, Revel was death. And it's funny that that's where that's, that particular phrase, is, that particular scripture is in Revelation. Because you are about to get a revelation like you've never had before. Said it in a previous message. So the Trump team's not playing. The Trump team's not bluffing. And I've said, if you're a Democrat in the higher echelons, if you're a Democrat that's used dem uh, Dominion voting systems to cheat, if you're a Democrat that's been part of this whole cabal for decades to cheat, you're in big trouble. For the record, one of my friends, a, a Republican, former Democrat, is going to be doing one of these kept talks with me. And she's going to tell me what she did decades ago. And she explains, I didn't even think of it as cheating. I thought of it as supporting the party you know, towing the party line, doing what was best for the country. There are many people who believe that, but I'm going to leave you with these statistics. Donald Trump got well over 10 million new voters from 2016 to 2020. Did he change? Did he stop tweeting? Is he less boorish? No, he's the same guy. Maybe he could have gotten two or three million more if he were more refined. But I'll tell you this, Donald Trump showed us there is a mandate. There's a mandate for him. There's a mandate for him cleaning up DC. We can debate the other topics, but there is a mandate for it. And God put that man here at this time, at this place to do this work. And the Democrats screwed it up because Donald Trump may be the one who's on that pale horse. But right now, Sidney Powell's riding it. Because of you, we blew through that first 1,000. Now we're way above that. We're shooting for the stratosphere. I can't thank you enough for your support. So please keep watching Kev Talks. Share them with others. Don't be a hog. Let other people know. These can be shared. It's not that big of a deal. You don't lose anything. Anyway, thanks again.